Okay, so this is the thickness of the Berlin Wall. Stand next to it, Caitlin, so you can see how thin it actually was. This much space separated families and friends for 28 years. And it was like torture because they knew they were on either side, but they couldn't see them or talk to them. So Caitlin has an interesting story she heard about yes. on the internet. She watched a video um, about it. At the beginning when it was built, so there weren't like a lot of guards yet controlling. Um, I just watched a video where these kids had relatives on the other side of the wall. So what they did in order to not get in trouble is they um, took a soccer ball and inside of it, like literally inside of it, they put pictures, letters, everything they wanted to say to the relatives. Um, and then they just started playing soccer and accidentally kicked it right over the wall. And so in that way, um, relatives, uh, you know, could see all their letters and stuff. And so they did this back and forth for a while. But then um, when the third generation wall came up, the, they banned it completely and the nomad's land was created so the eastern uh, side could communicate with the west. And what's the nomad's land? It, um, pretty much, they normally, like, people think there's only one wall, but really there were two of them. So there was two walls and in between there were um, obviously a ton of soldiers, this wall eastern side, a ton of soldiers and there were like minefields, um, booby traps, um, watchtowers, guard dogs in between, so even if you made it over the first wall, you couldn't make it, possibly make it through the nomads and, and over the second wall. Thank you. Very interesting. Here we are. Checkpoint Charlie.